Perfect. Perfect. Stag Nation, welcome back to the channel. And thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. We recently hit 500 subscribers, now 501. That is growth. I think we deserve a, uh, a little something something in the first. Ding ding ding. As the one ladies and gentlemen really appreciate it you know we are nothing special we are just two guys just trying to see some change in the world we're green like a snow though what i said we're green like a snow though we're green like snow we're growing like a snail we're growing like a snail yeah listen they say slow and steady wins the race yes sir i rather go slow but have some very solid roots than to grow fast and then come tumbling down like FTX <laughs> or uh, what is another one? What is called Block Five? Yeah. Or Three AC Capital Man, listen, or Terra Luna. Just pull up any chart. Just go to the crypto space and point in any direction. You will see quick rise, quick fall. Meanwhile, there is steady growth right. happening on something like Bitcoin. We're seeing slow adoption happening over the years. We're seeing a stable network, right? That has been on a mission forever. And it's still chugging along despite all the craziness that is happening around it. For example, CBDCs, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Let me share screen here, Mr. Double O. When we talk about things that, uh, oh yeah, we turn off the music here. When we talk about things that are on a steady growth, you could say one of them is the size of <laughs> the, the gentleman that we see before us. Ooh, he went for the juggler. <laughs> It is no Jaguar. I am just describing <laughs> what my eyes see. <laughs> oh my goodness, why? We make choices in life, and those choices lead us to certain places. For example, someone might feel threatened by this video, and they might feel the need to take action by banning us. On Instagram. Exactly. <laughs> Which will for it to be different. But we'll get to Instagram later on. We're not even, you know, your time has not come yet. We'll arrive to you. <laughs> Today, we are looking at the head of the Bank of International Settlements. BIS. Mr. Uh, I think it's something Martins. Mm -hmm. We don't know. He's not an elected official. He does not make any rules. He just moves money. We are wondering why he is trying to enforce how we use or do not use our money. You know, we've spoken about CBDCs for a long time. Folks like him doesn't think the money is ours. Well, because all of it is inside his jacket. <laughs> Why does it look like he's putting on a fat suit, by the way? Let us have some of the money, sir. <laughs> Come on, man. He's got all the money on him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all anyway, right, CBDC. CBDC. Listen, man, CBDC. Um, I think that we're going to get cancelled for this video. But <laughs> listen, I did not listen. At the same time, you cannot really cancel us for it because. We are just telling the truth and we're just describing what our eyes are seeing. If I see a red car, I should be able to say that is a red car. True. True. Red. True okay. Red. So that's all we're saying. We're not calling this man out of his name. We're just using the words that describe. Anyway, let's can play I this. can I describe maybe maybe this will help. Maybe it's like the animal fan, you know. Maybe <laughs> it's the uh, Hey, it's it's a book. We all read it. It's the big pig in the animal fan, you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, 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 look alike, look alike, look okay. alike, look alike, look alike. Okay, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, right. mm -hmm. You know, actually, I was watching Gentlemen of Crypto. Yeah. Yo, Zay went crazy on this man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen to the crazy shit this man has to say right now. Okay, listen. The key difference in, with the CBDC is the central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability and also we will have the we've been telling folks that your money in the bank is not your asset it's a liability it is it is it is he just said it in this video again 
Yeah. It's the central bank controls absolute control of your supposed value, which yeah. to them is a liability. I just want to take it back to basics, man. Golly. I just want to take it back to basics. You will get up and you will go to work and you will slave away for eight hours, 12 hours, however much it might be. And when you get paid and you decide, huh, I think I want to go buy a Range Rover. The central banks would be, you know, you know, we just probably go, ah, you're too broke for a Range Rover. We don't want you driving a Range Rover. You're not of the class. Go and buy a something leaf, right? Some economical bullshit that is tiny. They might say you don't have the social credit exactly. to have a Range Rover. Or that your, your, your impact yeah. to the environment with the Range Rover is too high. Again. So we can only live in the amount of people that can buy a Range Rover. They will have total control of your money. How did we get here? <clears throat> this guy is not even a uh, elected official. Elected or... official. And he's talking about total control of the regulations over how uh, your money is used. Let's carry on. The, the technology to enforce that. Those, are, those two issues are extremely important and that makes a huge difference with respect to what, she, to what cash is. All right, so they're going to be changing what cash is. This is exactly what's going on in Nigeria right now. <sighs> Retail, CBDCs, wholesale CBDCs, either way, you want to transact your money across borders, full technological control of how that happens. Yeah. Retail CBDCs is exactly what's going on in Nigeria right now. You cannot withdraw over, what, 20,000 naira per day. You don't even have access to your money. You go to the bank, they don't have access. They will not give Which you your... 20,000 naira, that's what, $45, right? I think Bro, I read that somewhere. That's absolutely nothing. Okay. What can you do with that? Which, by the way, I think this denomina the, the denomination of those of those bills are so high because of the gross uh, devaluation of money. Uh, because if you look at places like uh, Argentina, where they have like things like a million dollar or five hundred thousand, one thousand, yeah, one thousand dollar notes. Ten, yeah. right? Same thing with Cameroon. We have one thousand dollar note. We have ten thousand dollar note. Because they keep devaluing this thing, and when they keep devaluing it, now you can no longer carry. Um, $10,000. So now they have to make one note. Insanity. But carry on. If you, this, this is exactly what's going on in Nigeria right now. They came up with the E-Nair, right? And they're trying to enforce it on the people with everything that would, uh, with the, with the limitation that they have on the access to the fiat, the paper version of the currency. Yeah. If they're trying to enforce you to go digital, but once they fully go digital and enforce you to go digital, he is telling you exactly the capabilities that they have. Yeah. Technologically, so it's already now virtual. They can literally go into your bank account and say you've committed this offense, minus. That's your value. That means you don't have control over your hard work already. And we've done several videos about banks and letting you know that when you put your money in the bank, you literally, it's a liability for the bank. The bank must automatically go and invest that money and get more returns. You never get enough of the interest that they take that money and invest it with. Yeah. You actually sign an agreement that your money is no longer yours. It's now the bank's. So they can limit your access to the bank. So if you get mad that you can access your money at the bank, if you're in Nigeria right now, it's because you agreed for the banks to do that. What you used to think the bank is, it's no longer what the bank is. Yeah. It's also about people staying informed. Right? You have to stay informed. Because I've also seen here in the U.S. where people go to the bank and try to withdraw some money, and they cannot get the money out. And then they're, they're mad that they cannot get their money out. But the reality is you do not read the fine print. It's all there in the fine print. And I get it. People will not read the fine print. It is a snaky move. We get it. This is why we're talking about these things. And the idea is that hopefully someone watching this can... It, it helps them have that moment where they click and decide to opt out of this system. Because that's the beautiful thing about all of this, right? Mm -hmm. We still have the option to opt out with Bitcoin. If we transact in Bitcoin, we don't need to transact in their CBDCs. We can accept payment in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. right? And people, people, people want to say, oh, uh, <clears throat> the market is too disruptive with Bitcoin right now. 
there are solutions. What does that even mean? Well, because Bitcoin is on the exchange, so like you don't you don't make purchases with gold, right? Um, you don't make purchases with your well. The big guys make purchases with their Tesla shares, mm -hmm. uh, make loans, and able to make purchases of the shares that they have. Yes, right. Even though the prices goes up and down. Yeah. You, you, the fact that Bitcoin is on exchanges and it's been treated and it's so volatile right now because mm -hmm. it's still an entry level, uh, they want to call it asset type, mm -hmm. which is nuts. Uh, <clears throat> You don't trade with your coin, you know, if it's a commodity, yeah. it's transferred into, in, into what we call the fiat currency that we're using right now. Right. We have sets for that. And I think that if we transact in sets, which is the transactory technology that we can use for the fractions Bitcoin. of Bitcoin? Yeah. Um, Using the uh, Lightning Network is what you mean? Yeah, Lightning. Yeah. Man, there's so, so much that you can do when you're, yeah. <laughs> when you're understanding the, 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 the technology behind Bitcoin. Yeah. The Lightning Network, but then using the SATS technology as our transactory currency, that fixes the problem. Well, I think it's it's already you know it's something that is already happening. Yep. All of this that is this is why I say that the solution is already here, right? Yep. Over the Lightning Network. Yep. You can transact using those SATS. Yep. And it's as fast as cash. One you Bitcoin is always one Bitcoin. Right. And so, look, man. Um, so you you no longer have to worry about the price movement of Bitcoin. You just yeah. worry, just transfer this is sets. this is extremely concerning. It is concerning that we are now at this point where these guys feel so emboldened to come out and say these things in public. At the same time, I do also want to point out that it is also a sign that they're under pressure, under, under pressure, pressure from Bitcoin, under pressure because Bitcoin. there is liquidity outflow from their central banks into Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin adoption is continuously growing. Mm -hmm. So instead of writing their little papers, which they used to write all the time uh, over the past couple of years, it seems that now they have to come out and actually take the stand and start to fight for their CBDC. Aggressively. Yes. I think Europe is coming up with one by this point. They should keep coming up with it. This is wasted efforts. This is wasted energy because Bitcoin is going to win. You know, the incredible thing about Bitcoin is that when you are a bad actor and when you act in bad faith against Bitcoin, you will be penalized. We've seen FTX suffer from that. We've seen Terra Luna, Terra Luna suffer from that. Right. And there's many other uh, situations like this. So this is the reality of the situation, man. I think CBDCs are the devil's work simply put and the idea that we're in a in a world now where we're supposed to be in the the most free point of our human existence and we have someone like this coming out to tell us that they would have total control over the regulation and total control over our store of value it's it's concerning can we show his face again <laughs> yes. Sorry. Again. This guy right here. <laughs> this guy wants to control your money. Uh, would you trust someone like this to control your value? Just a question, man. If you do, uh, uh, <laughs> like, comment. I wonder what Let us of, know what you yeah, feel. That it does not seem like there's a lot of self-discipline going on there. <laughs> so, listen, uh, man. Sir, if you take offense to this... Uh, let us know, too. Put it, put it in the comments. No, I'm not talking about the viewers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm talking about this guy. The, the man himself. If he takes offense to it, man. Um, contact Instagram right. so they can ban us again. Or something. It's freaking ridiculous, man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, CBDs are here. And they're trying to take full control of your value. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Um, do you think that this is something that will be successful? And what do you think is going to be your next move? That's really something I want to. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think about that because obviously everyone watching us, they're, they're, they're up to they're up to snap on this stuff, and I know what time it is. You know. So, <clears throat> with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close this one now. Yeah, final thoughts. Yeah, you know, I've done some readings of some businesses. Yeah, and they do have benefits. They do create some efficiencies for government. Mm, like but, the single mother situation. Oh, let's, yeah. not go, let's, let's not go to the pullout conversation. Yeah. yeah, listen, there is a use case for everything, okay? It does not matter. Yeah, we carry on. But at what level did you subscribe to convenience? 
over in freedom. Exactly. This is why we do these videos. We prefer freedom of your freedom and your ability to store your own value over some centralized control over yeah. your money and your wealth instead of some some level of convenience. Yeah. This world is not a convenient place. For a plant to grow off the ground, it has to go through some inconveniences to grow and become a tree. Yeah. Even after it becomes a tree, the wind and the storm comes at it. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. The, the world is not a convenient place, which is why with Bitcoin as proof of work, put in the work. That's the inconvenience that it takes to create value. Right. Thanks for watching. 100%. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I think that that was a beautiful way to end it off, yeah. right? Um, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, right? Share it with your friends. It really means a lot to us. Follow us on Twitter, Stackfin. Perfect. Um, we're going to be maybe showing up on Facebook a bit more now. Since Facebook themselves have banned us from Instagram, we believe it's because we pointed out some of this uh, oppression that is happening in Nigeria, right? At the same time, we also speculate that maybe it's because we are black guys talking about Bitcoin, you know? Because, right. <laughs> yes, because, you look, man, um, there is naked women on Instagram. This is being exposed to little kids, man, and they're not banned. Nope. Because if you ban them, they will say you are body shaming and you're not empowering women. Is nudity exposed to your kids? Yep. They're the folks with the guns. There is a uh, killing people every yes, day, right? They install communities, which is a bad representation of the black community. There's a lot of successful black people out there doing absolutely incredible things, very powerful things. It is shocking to me that those people are not represented in media. No, those successful black people are not represented in media uh, the same way that they represent gangsters and hoodlums running around shooting each other but the hoodlums have instagram accounts flashing guns daily on youtube all day they have not been banned no. why are you banning us you see our speculations will continue to expand until you guys can tell us exactly why you banned us so until next time present out <laughs> <laughs>